All right, anyone got a backward strategy for me? Um, not yeah, well, that's why I'm giving you a couple, right? Let's try. Play around. Yep, so we're working backwards in the back of my exam book, which is for 50 pages. Now, at this point, right, it's, again, it's not immediately obvious what we can do with something like this. Um, I don't know if I can write this a bit more differently, that's helpful. Um, I could write it like this. When this thing, I can square something that gives me this, I can square something that gives me this. Like, for example, what's the square root of this? A to the half, right, or the square root of A. What would the square root of this be? Well, the other way, one on the square root of A, right? And then hang on, what happens when you multiply these two together? What do you get? You get one. If you're doing this twice, then you get, right? So, so it, there's like these, you get negative two, right? So there's like these hidden perfect squares in a lot of these. So that's why I'm saying perfect squares are a very key part to this because when you want to start with a known result, you need to start with something that you can just uh, assume is true without having to do any creative rearrangement. You just want to be saying, yeah, this thing is all squared, so I know it's greater than equal to zero. In the same sense here, this expression like can be written like this. Um, what happens when you multiply it by a? You're well, I think you're lo you might be losing solution. Well, actually, you can't quite do that as well because you don't know if A is positive or not. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, and also, yeah, we shouldn't really be doing this anyway, kind of thing. So it's like, we, w we don't want to, yeah, don't tell anyone. They're going to be suspicious when, when we just have that. Um, this is true. I don't know how to get around that yet, but we will, <laughs> we will talk about it. A lot of these are known results, to be honest, yeah. So a lot of them, the expectation is that you just know a lot of these, for example, I think. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll look into that for you if it's a bit sus. Yeah, anyway, let's, let's, go, let's roll with it and then we'll see how we go. Huh? Yeah, it's a bit suspicious. All right, so consider square root of a minus one of the square root of a, all squared. All right. And so remember, we're still just like working back from all this stuff here that we have. We can expand this back out. So a minus two plus a to the minus one greater than or equal to zero. And you can check that by expanding as well, just to make sure that actually works, right? And then when you rewrite it in your traditional notation, we get something very yeah, familiar, lo and behold. A plus 1 and A is greater than or equal to 2, as required. Cool, any questions about that one? Apart from its uh, legality.